Now, before we go into today's game, we got some breaking news out of the ACC. The Florida State Seminoles, a team that is three and six, took down the number two team in the country at the time, the North Carolina State Wolfpack, by a score of 24 to seven. That is huge because considering those top two spots are still up for grab. Now, today we're taking on Jackson State. They have been up and down all season, but they do have a winning record right now. Five and four overall, four and two in conference play in the SWAC. So now today they're taking on the Alabama State Hornets in the Gump Town after losing last week to Florida A&M. Now, Alabama State comes into this game at 8-0, currently on a 21-game winning streak, the longest in the nation right now. We are doing our thing this season so far. We've had a couple of games where we haven't looked up the par, and we had the rally on a late blowout. We even had one game where we almost blew it against Prairie View A&M. But here we are going up against Jackson State in the Gump Town. I believe this is the last home game of the season. Our last two games are on the road after this against Grambling and Arkansas Pine Bluff. Now we're 8-0, we're still ranked as the number one team in the country for a good reason. We're having a really good season right now. But we have to step it up a little bit, in my opinion. We're still not playing that full caliber game that I want us to play. And today we're hoping to start fast. Alabama State takes the field in the black tops and the white trunks. And there goes the Jackson State Tigers rocking the all icy whites. Ryan Thompson is on the verge of history. Number one in the country in receiving yards, number one in touchdown receptions, which I don't think is accurate. I think he's second. There's another play, I believe, on the Belitnikoff Award list that has a little bit more touchdowns than he does. So, Jackson State has two impact players at quarterback, but Anthony Weiss is the guy. Reggie Johnson at 92 overall, a senior, 5'10", 217, considered quote-unquote undersized, for NFL prospect rankings, but nevertheless, he should pop up on Madden. As the game kicks off, there goes Meyer going up the gut. Now, I must say, this Jackson State offense is not that bad. Look at Leon Hill getting a sack right there, though. Blasting through the line of scrimmage and straight destroying Anthony Weiss. So here he goes on third down, and he gets sacked again. What a big play there, back-to-back -back sex for the Hornets. That time it was Rashawn Pearson. So now here we go on offense, and I must say Donnie Marker is having an excellent season. Look at those broken tackles. Now Jackson State offense is not that bad to me, considering they have two impact players at quarterbacks, but there goes Deadpool throwing a pick. A bad start for our offense. The Jackson State defense comes up big, and now they have the ball at our 46. Anthony Weiss pops it on his black foot and he got it back. We got it back. Wendell Davis on the interception and the Alabama State defense gets the ball back immediately for the offense. And now we're going to do a play fake. We're going to look for Ryan Tussin downfield. Makes that catch inside the 30-yard line. We are cruising right now on offense. Now we're about to hand it off to Donnie Monker. He takes it up the left side. Tries to break that tackle. He gets tackled near the first down marker. We got second and one. We're going right back to him one more game. He's going to make the impact play and miss. That's Reggie Johnson getting ran over. Tries to break another tackle, but he gets tackled around the 10-yard line. First and 10 at the Jackson State 10. Up the gut. Mark Kirk goes and he cruises into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. Seven to nothing just like that. It took a while, but we're finally on the board. There goes Anthony Weiss finding May. Oh, that was Mays in the flat. Not Myers, but Mays. My bad. 39 now at their own 21-yard line. Anthony Weiss with off to the pass. He pops it downfield, and that pass is incomplete. The defense stands tall. We got the ball back at our own 42. We're going to do a play fake, and this time we're looking downfield, and the pass is thrown near the cheerleaders. That was not a good pass. We got to work on that accuracy. So Donnie Mucker tries to go somewhere, but he gets taken down in the backfield. Third and 13, now Deadpool stepping back the pass, pops it up the middle, and Sheldon Green does his consistent one drop per game. Absolutely crazy. He was wide open too. Lawrence on the carry right there for a good eight yards. It's 32. There goes the play fake. Anthony Weiss pops it in the middle, and that pass is caught by Hill. First and 10 for Jackson State. First and 10 once again. Anthony Weiss pops it. It's caught by Moore. Moore's getting away from the DPs, and he gets tackled. 
Anderson took him down. That was a great pass by Anthony Weiss. Weiss with all the pass now. Weiss steps up, pops it. The pass is battered away. It should have been intercepted in the end zone. I don't know why we can't pick that off. But after one, we're up seven to nothing. And we're looking to extend our lead. But the Tigers of Jackson State are driving. And there goes Lawrence, the fullback. That dude right there was held attack. He gets tackled inside the five-yard line. The handoff to the fullback, Mays, and he gets into the end zone. And Jackson State are finally on the board. So here goes the Alabama State offense back on the field. And it's picked off. Henry Ortiz. Henry Ortiz has not caught a pass all season. In case you haven't noticed. And then when he does get his chance, he does this. Can't catch the ball. Too much inconsistency with the wide receivers and these tight ends. This makes absolutely no sense. Henry Ortiz just straight dropped the ball. It goes straight to the defender. And here goes Jackson State back in action right now. And then that goes Stewart for a touchdown. Avery Vincent got beat on that play. And now the Tigers of Jackson, Mississippi have the lead. But that's cool though. We just got to keep balling. Donnie Monker goes up the right side right there. First and 10, Deadpool. Pops at the Ryan Thompson and he makes that catch. And now we're near the Hornet 40 yard line. We're still moving. Deadpool, Wade Wilson, steps back. Nobody's open, he decides to take off. He gets the first down, now we're in Jackson State territory. He got taken down by the face mask too. First and 10, now Deadpool's popping it up the middle. And Chad Hamilton almost got killed. Chad Hamilton got baptized with the holy water. But he had to hold on. He couldn't hold on for that ball. Second and ten now. There goes the half bet. The red. The pass game is not clicking. So we're going to go to low down. 30. Shane Harris past the 20. Look how he made that man miss. and gets tackled inside the 10 yard line. We're at the six. Low down. Dirty Shane. We're going to give you the ball again so you can finish what you started. He tries to beat out this defender. He dies for the end zone, but they don't rule him in. So we're going to try this one more time. Low down, Dirty Shane gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama State. It's tied at 14 here in the Gup Town. And now here goes the Jackson State Tigers at their own 18-yard line. Lawrence is straight running us all the way over. He has over 13 yards a carry. But this time, Anthony Weiss is going nowhere. Grant Garcia getting the set. Third and long now at our own, well, at Jackson State's own 27. Anthony Weiss pops it downfield. He's looking for a receiver. And the pass is caught by Stewart. The pass was caught. He beat out two defenders. Look at this again. This makes no sense. How does he make that catch? Unbelievable throw. Unbelievable thought by Anthony Weiss. But that time he didn't get nothing on that play. So they decide to settle for the field goal. The kick is up. And the kick is good. And now Jackson State are back on top. They're up by three. Alabama State has to get things together if they're talking about winning this game. We're not looking too good right now. Deadpool. This time he has off there to pass. He throws it off his back foot. Nobody's open. Wisely decides to throw it away. He's having a bad game so far, mainly because these wide receivers are not catching the football. And that was just a bad pass right there. So we're going to go back to the run game. Low down, dirty Shane Harris keeps the drive alive and gets tackled on the face mask. That's an intentional First down, tack on 15. Deadpool pops it once again. Ryan Thompson is tweaking right now. Has not caught a pass in the last recent minutes. But this time we go to Sheldon Green and it gets tackled inside the five yard line. And then there's a penalty on the play. What is this call right here? They're calling holding on Alabama State and it's on Kendrick Billings. The best offensive lineman in the country gets called for holding and now we gotta go back and add 10 yards to that. So it's third and 20 now. Deadpool steps back. Deadpool rolls out to the right. He pops it up the middle and the pass is dropped by Sheldon Green. And one more time he drops the ball. So now we're going to settle for a 52-yard field goal on fourth and 20. And we don't even sniff it. The ball went all the way to the right. Bobby Siegler, you should be ashamed of yourself. Jackson State are back on offense. They're looking to extend their lead. Anthony Weiss pops it to the left side. It's caught by Evans. Look at that spin move right there. Third and three now at their own 42. It's a play fake. Anthony White rolls out to the right. He pops it in the flat and it's caught by Stewart. That's a first down for Jackson State. And then they call timeout. So now here goes Weiss once again stepping back. And this time, Weiss is straight dissecting our offense. Well, our defense. Oh, look at this. There's a flag on the play. What is this call? It's a personal front. They're calling rough in the passer. On who? 
It's on John McCowan, and they're going to attack on 15. So now they have the ball at our 29-yard line. It's not looking good right now. They decide to settle for the field goal to end the half. They are now up by six at halftime. We have to make adjustments. We got to get it together. We are down by six. The number one team in the country is down by six points. And please believe the entire nation is watching. So now those two turnovers really cost us considering they scored on both of those turnovers. So now we're going to go back to Donnie Mucker. Look at those moves right there. Look at Donnie Mucker showing the genius and his ankles. First and 10 for the Hornets. At our own 44, we're going to play fake. We're going to look for Ryan Thompson. I have no idea why he made the pass like that. But he had to make a diamond catch. We'll take it though considering we're down six. We try to do a screen pass right here and lately this play hasn't been working much. Second and 12 now, we're going to do another play fake. This time, Deadpool is trying to look for somebody that's open. Sheldon Green went one way and went the other way away from the ball. I have no idea why. Third and 12 now, this time we're going to look to him again, and he pays us off. Sheldon Green making up for big plays, making up for drops too. This time we're going to go back to Donnie Monker. He tries to cut the corner, but they're not going to let him. That's a good, decent four-yard gain. This time we go back to the air. Deadpool. Should have gotten it off right there, but he got sacked. Deadpool got sacked. Wilson this time tries to go up the middle to Sheldon Green, and we get those yardage right back. A great catch that was by Sheldon Green. We're at the one-yard line of Jackson State, and I have no idea why they would not allow me to go up that hole. But we're going to go up this hole again into the end zone for a touchdown. And now I have to say double pause touchdown Alabama State we are back on top it is 21 to 20 as we kick the ball off Hines feels it in his own end zone go straight up the middle untouched this makes absolutely no sense that could have been dangerous for us considering we haven't been really playing well in this game and there goes Leon Hill getting his second sack of the day please believe this will be Leon Hill's last season he is a red shirt junior and he tried to leave at the last season. Look at Crosby, though. Crosby straight running over defenders. That was a good play right there. Third and three now. Can we get off the field right here? Look at Lawrence. No, we cannot. The fullback gets the ball. He gets the first down. Oh, take that back. They rule him short. It's fourth and inches. They punt the ball, and we got it back. I thought he got the first down. There goes low down, Dirty Shane. Now our offense is going to do some work right here. So after three, we are up by one. We have to close this game out. Donnie Marker on fourth down gets the first down and more. Look at the breaking tackles. Look at Donnie Marker continuing to show the genius in his ankles and show the strength and the power. This time we're going downfield. Deron Thompson, the best wide receiver in the country that's caught. How did he catch that? Look at this. This was deflected by the cornerback and it fell into the hands of Ryan Thompson. So now it's third and goal. We're going to do this, an unnecessary juke move by Dunny Monker, but nevertheless, he gets his third touchdown of the game. Touchdown, Alabama State. We are now up 28 to 20. When the pass game is not clicking, you have to go to the run game. And there goes Leon Hill again, getting another sack. Leon Hill with the third sack of the game. Third and five now. They do a play fake. They're going to pop it up the middle. We should have got an interception with Leon Hill right there. First and 10 now. We're going to go to low down. Dirty Shane Harris in the flat. He takes it to the 40. Goes into Jackson State Territory. Gets past the 40. Gets out of bounds. First and 10 for the Hornets. We are straight moving right now. The offense is fine. Their rhythm. This time we're going to try to go through the air one more time. And we don't see the safety. And he bats that away. That could have been dangerous. The pass game is not clicking right now. Either they dropping passes or they're catching on in the secondary. But look, look at low down. Dirty Shane though. Oh, he got popped. He got popped from behind. Paul. Second and eight this time at the Jackson State 12 yard line. Up the gut goes Donnie Monker for another touchdown of the day for Alabama State. Donnie Monker with touchdown run number four in this game. And now we were up 35 to 20. Third and 10 now. There goes Weiss. Right there, he finds Lawrence. Lawrence is having a decent game despite the fact they have not scored in the second half. We have over 400 yards of total offense though. Look at Anthony Weiss popping back the pass. Look at Anthony Weiss popping it downfield. That pass is battered away. We needed that real badly. Fourth and ten now. They have no choice but to go for it. Anthony Weiss just back the pass. 
pops it downfield, and we got DBs down there, and there goes Wendell Davis picking up another pass on the day. Anthony, oh, take that back, Wendell Davis with his second interception on the day, and I believe that's five picks on the season for our free safety. And now we're just going to try to cruise and close this game out. Look at Dunn and Munker cruising up the gut. We have another first down. This time he's blicking. We're going to hand it off to him again. This time Jackson State was ready. They called a blitz and they figured it out. So Dunn and Munker has been named player of the game for our school. Stewart for Jackson State. We're going right back to Dunn and Munker again. We pick up another first down. This time we're just forcing Jackson State to use up all their timeouts. We have 20 first downs on the day. We're going to go back to the screen pass. Look at Ryan Thompson. Oh, gosh, the cinema moment. Y'all already know what that means. We're about to take off. We're going to the Jackson State territory. And then we should have scored. We should have scored. We get tackled at the 38-yard line, though. A great play after the catch by Ryan Thompson, the Heisman Trophy winner and reigning Belitnikoff Award winner. We do a play fake. And we're going to look for Ryan Thompson again. He's wide open. And he caught it. And he going into the end zone for a touchdown. Alabama State. That was big considering we was looking to get him in the end zone all game. So now it's 42 to 20. Anthony Weiss tries to get away, but he gets shanked. He's not going nowhere. That's the Alabama State Hornets improved the 9-0. 42 to 20 is your final score. The Jackson State Tigers had a great first half, but they did absolutely nothing in the second half. We held them to no points in the second half, and we scored 28 unanswered points to win the game. So now I'm really disappointed in our wide receivers right now. They are straight tweaking. Very happy for low down dirty Shane Harris. Very happy for Dunning Monker. But these wide receivers are straight tweaking. Ryan Thompson, where would we be without you? You were straight balling. Every time you touched the ball, you made a humongous play for us. Disappointed in Sheldon Green today. Disappointed in uh, Henry Ortiz. Chad Hamilton, we want, I'm looking to get him more looks, man, because he's straight balling right now. And then on top of that, look at Kendra Billings. 11 pancakes. 11 pancakes. That's crazy. 11 pancakes in one game. And then, of course, our defense balled out, especially in the second half. Our offense did not turn the ball over in the second half. I believe that was the biggest story. But when the pass wasn't clicking, we had to go back to what we're known for. And that's running the football down their throat. Pause. Anyway, thank you for watching. Pace.